Hello, today is Friday, January 26th, 2018. So glad I didn't screw the date up. It's been over a month since I've done an episode, so let's get right into it with some Punishers Season 2 news. Uh, there was a little teaser for it, and it was short, but sweet. They put the teaser out, like, shortly after the, uh, the second season went out, uh, first season went up, so, you know. I still need to see the first season of Punisher. I haven't seen that yet. I've seen all the other Marvel shows. I've seen most of the Marvel movies. I still need to catch up on, uh, actually, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think I need to catch up on. No, I'm caught up on that. It's, uh, I haven't seen Thor yet, either. This third Thor, so, uh, there's that. Um... There was an article saying that Wentworth Miller is uh, going to do one more uh, time where he shows up uh, on The Flash uh, or Legends Tomorrow, I forget which, but he's got one more episode left in his contract, so, uh, you know, that's, uh, it's going to be sad to see him go. He's a fan favorite. Really, I think he, a lot of people like his character, so, uh, yeah. Um, some more show news, Ian McKellen... Uh, is interested in playing Gandalf in that show, the Lord of the Rings show I mentioned about one episode ago, but over a month ago. So there's an article for that linked below. Um, and there's a lot of show news going on. Um, there's a possible Office revival coming happening, we don't know for sure. Um, but Steve Carell said that he's not going to be a part of it, so no Michael Scott, which kind of sucks, because he was an awesome character. Um, but it would have some of the old cast and some new cast, and so, hey, NBC, if you're doing this, I'm just saying, I'd be great for The Office. I've seen the show, I don't know how many times, just, just saying, you could, you know, you could cast me in The Office. Um, but of course, NBC had no comment to say about this, so, yeah, that article's down below. There's another article announcing a new Total Drama show, or season, called Total Drama Daycare. It's where they're all kids at a daycare. But uh, the character Chris McClain won't be back, but Chef is there. Um, it's really weird. And also, one of the characters, I think his name is like Zeke, from uh, 16 is there. So, uh, that's weird. As a baby, of course, or a toddler, so... It's a little weird, but okay. Um, Ocean's 8, yeah, there's a trailer for that Ocean's 8. I think I mentioned the poster before. But yeah, there's a trailer for it. It looks decent. Looks okay, I'd watch it. I'm pretty hyped. Um, in some uh, book movie news, Artemis Fowl got a cast article, and I didn't bother to read it because I was feeling lazy, so link in the description. Um... And then, uh, Nick Castle is going to be back as Michael Myers in the new Halloween movie. So we got, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and, uh, Nick Castle both back in their roles. I think that's pretty cool. You know, it's a return to, a return to form. Uh, I don't even know if I'm using that phrase right. Uh, and some other sequel news, Mamma Mia... Uh, two, Here We Go Again got a trailer. It's coming out in July. I didn't see the first one, so I don't really have an opinion of this one. I don't... I watched their guy review it, but I didn't see it, so... Um, that Krypton show, which is like a prequel to the whole Superman story, is, uh, got a release date in an article for March, uh, 21st. So I plan on hopefully watching that. Um, I'm a little excited. Uh... And, uh, and some more release date for TV show news. We got a series of question events season two trailer, which said the release is set for March 30th. So I'm excited. I saw the first season. I like the books. I like the movie. So I'm pretty excited for this. In some really disturbing news. There was a Slenderman movie trailer, and it's not disturbing they're making a trailer. The trailer itself was really disturbing, and I gotta say, I was uncomfortable watching the trailer for this movie. So I'm definitely not gonna watch this movie. That was just disturbing. Um, remember Animaniacs? 
By the way, sorry I'm not editing pictures behind me. I'm feeling lazy this week because I've got seven pages worth of stories. So, uh, no pictures behind me. Just the one background. It's a new background. I had to get rid of the old one because uh, someone I don't like made it. I don't like them anymore. You know, we have issues. We have beef, so I'm not going to use their picture. Anyways, uh, Animaniacs is getting a revival on Hulu, and it's already got two seasons. Uh, it's already set for two seasons. It's not out yet, but, you know, Animaniacs is coming back, which is cool. Um, and then we have some Captain Marvel casting news. Dewanda Wise, which I think she's... Oh, I forget what she was in. I wrote it down on the computer. I forgot to write it down here, but she was in something. I forget what it was. Um... Oh, Ridley Scott, who, uh, from Alien, the Alien series, you guys should know that, he, uh, is maybe gonna be directing, uh, a Marvel Disney saga sort of, uh, series. Um, and, uh, this is, uh, remember that Sabrina reboot I mentioned, like, a while ago? Uh, the Sabrina reboot has got some casting, Kiernan, Kier, Kiernan? Kiernan Shipka is going to be playing Sabrina. I don't know who that is. Um, and although we're not getting Half-Life 3, we're getting a fun fan game called uh, Hunt Down the Freeman. It's a fan-made game, and it looks awesome. It's going to be up on Steam. There's like a trailer for it on Steam. Link in the description. I will be playing this game if I can get it. I might be even doing a Let's Play of it. Because let's face it, this, this looks like an awesome game. Um, in some really weird news, Lindsay Lohan wants to play Batgirl. I don't know. I don't know if she'd do good as Batgirl. I don't know. I don't really. I don't really recall seeing in her in a lot of stuff, so I don't know if uh, she'd be good in Batgirl. Uh, in some strange news, get it? Because Millie Bobby Brown was in Stranger Things, so strange news. She's gonna be playing Sherlock's sister in um. A movie uh, made by Legendary Studios about, uh, what's it, about, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Enola Holmes? I don't know, um, but it's supposed to be the start of a franchise. Enola is 14 years old, and she's escaping the boarding school to find her mom that everyone else thinks is dead. Um, and she sort of follows, follows in Sherlock's footsteps with her, um, crime-solving abilities uh, to find, like, missing persons. And, uh, Sherlock tries to find him, or find her, um, because she, like, escaped, but she's like, mm, I'm not having that. I'm gonna get out of this. So, yeah. And then there's, a uh, there's a Kitty Pride solo movie maybe in the works, but we're not sure because the whole Disney buying Fox thing. Uh, and the developer would be Tim Miller. So, I don't know. He uh, he worked on the, what's it called? Why do I not remember? I should know this. It's Deadpool. I have my Blu-ray copy right there. Right next to my computer. And then there was a trailer for Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Next story. Uh, I don't want to talk about something. If I'm, I'm not going to badmouth Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I'm just not a fan of the series. I like the original series. I'm not a fan of the new series. But I'm not going to badmouth it. Because I'm here to report news. That being said, I'm probably not going to be seeing this movie. Anyways, Black Widow might be getting her own... Or no, she's getting her own movie. And it's going to be written by Jack... Schaefer? I don't remember how to pronounce his name. Schaefer? Schaefer. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Whatever. Uh, anyways. Now here comes two and like one third page... Sorry. Yeah, two and one third page worth of... Uh, Nintendo Direct Mini news. The Nintendo Direct Mini happened. And here's a lot of stories on that. Um, the World Ends With You Final Remix is going to be on the Switch. It got a trailer. It's going to be released this year. It's going to have a sizable new scenario that gets to the heart of the story. Uh, Poke ta Poke Pokin Tournament DX Battle Pack Wave 1 and 2 um, Got a, uh, the DLC, got a, uh, Switch, uh, trailer. Um, and Wave 1 comes out January 31st, and we'll have, uh, Battle Pokemon of 
I don't know how to pronounce this. Aegislash? Aegislash? And uh, support Pokemon of Mega Rayquaza and Mimikyu. <laughs> Saying that out loud, Mimikyu, it sounds funny. Um, and Wave 2 will have a battle Pokemon of Blastoise and support po Pokemon of Mew and Celebi. And it'll have some uh, new Avatar stuff, collectible things. And it'll be coming out March 23rd. Um, on to some Kirby Superstar. Uh, sorry, not Superstar. That's the old game. Kirby. Kirby? I can't speak. Kirby Star Allies. Uh, you gotta get some new abilities. And it was a trailer. It was showing off the artist one where you can like paint things. And then it just comes to life and attacks. And then there's the spider ability where you can use webs and stuff. And it looks really cool. And then a friend ability, friend abilities, I should say. Friend abilities where you combine two different abilities with you and a friend playing to make a really cool third ability. And that's going to be, uh, that game is going to be coming out March 16th. Uh, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. I'm speaking weird. I'm like nervous for some reason. It's been a while, so I'm nervous, okay? Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition got a trailer for the Switch. Uh, you're going to get every map that there's been, every character, and every mission from both the Wii U version and the 3DS version. Um, and all the premium, original premium DLC that uh, it came with before. Uh, and there's 29 characters to play with, play as, I should say. And uh, you're going to get uh, outfits for Breath of the Wild for both Link and Zelda. And that should be coming out around spring. Um, uh, we got this new Mario Tennis Aces game, a trailer for that. Uh, you get some tennis clothes they're wearing, and there's like a story mode. And that comes out in the spring. That was quick Mario news. I don't know, is it YSVI? YS, I get, what's the Roman numeral? YS8, I think it is. VII is 8. No, VII. Uh, whatever, right? Y-S-V-I-I-I. Roman numerals. I'm pretty sure that's an 8. Uh, Y-S-8 Lacrimosa of Dana. That's a long title. Got a Switch trailer. Your base will change throughout the game as you do more stuff. And uh, you can change characters and your attack type. And that'll be coming out this summer. And what was everyone's favorite game for the Switch last year? Besides Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, we got some DLC coming for Super Mario Odyssey. This Balloon World thing where you can uh, go up to Luigi and he'll offer you to play a game. Where you uh, either hide, you can. there's a hide mode for the balloon. You hide a balloon on a map. Or find mode where you find the balloon. And you have 30 seconds to do each of those. It's going to be an online game so you can rise up on the leaderboards. If and when I get that game on the Switch... If I ever get a Switch, I will not be participating in Balloon World because I kind of am not good at getting on leaderboards. Um, also, there's some new outfits that you can get in the game and a new snapshot mode filter, and it'll be out uh, next month. Um, SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy got a Switch trailer, and uh, you can switch characters mid-battle apparently, which is cool. There's a Dream Finish thing now. And uh, customizable characters, and you can, uh, and that's gonna be coming out this summer. And in some, uh, in a surprise game that no one expected ever happened, um, it's a DLC for the Mario Rabbids Battle of Kingdom. You, we got Donkey Kong, and that's gonna be coming out this spring. There's a trailer for that. I'm a big Donkey Kong fan. I got my Donkey Kong 64 right there. I was playing some today. I'm, I'm a big Donkey Kong fan. That was my first favorite game ever. And then Kingdom Hearts happened. Um, in some Payday 2's, uh, the Payday 2 got a Switch trailer, uh, and also you can play with three friends online using CrimeNet, and there's a new timed hack, um, sorry, heister, uh, exclusive heister, so you can only get it on the Switch, and it's only for a certain amount of time. Uh, their name is Joy, they have a LA... LA, LED mask, and uh, she's got her own weapons uh, and hacker perks, and that comes out February 16th. Fee, I think is how you pronounce this. F-E, I got a Switch trailer. You can use uh, Joy-Cons to sing in tune with the creatures and plants around you and get new abilities, and that's cool. 
Um, and that comes out also February 16th. And then, uh, see, I don't know, Celestial? Uh, Celestial got a trailer also for the Switch. Uh, and, um, there's this feature it showed off called Assist Mode where you can, uh, change the difficulty and speed and you can activate invincibility. And, uh, that came out yesterday, but today is of me reporting this. Uh, why am I putting that in this episode? Because it was a part of the Nintendo Direct thing, and I just want to put it in with the whole thing, the whole package. Uh, speaking of Donkey Kong from earlier, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze got a Switch trailer, and you can play as Funky Kong. He's got a cool double jump. He's got, he can hover. He can do infinite rolls and infinite underwater corkscrews. And, uh, because he's on a surfboard always, he doesn't take any damage. So this kind of seems like an OP character, but whatever. And that's coming out May 4th. And that was technically the last Nintendo Direct story. This was also, this next thing was also announced for Nintendo Direct at the end, but it also involves other platforms. But, uh, Dark Souls Remas Remastered? Dark Souls Remastered got a trailer, and it's going to be on the Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and Steam. So that's coming out. Uh, I don't believe it said when, or I just don't have it in my notes because I'm a big fool. Anyways, for those of you excited for the uh, Venom movie, we kind of got a first look, sort of, at uh, Tom Hardy as uh, Venom. There's a, links to, there's a link to an article with a video down below. Uh, Hyperkin, this company, made a Game Boy Classic Edition, and it looks kind of cool. You can play a bunch of the old... Game Boy games, which I used to have a Game Boy. I want to get a Game Boy again, or just get this. Um, and then the there was a Escapist 2 launch trailer for the Switch. It's already out. I don't know why I put this in the dirty news, but I did anyways. Um, also, Gambit lost uh, Gore Ver Verbinski as the trail or as the director for that. So that article's down below. Um, Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered got an announcement trailer, teaser down below. Uh, it's going to be coming out March 20th on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And uh, speaking of uh, Gambit, it's it, along with two other X-Men related movies, have new release dates. But, uh, you know, Gambit got pushed back to June 17th of next year. 2019, and uh, New Mutants got uh, pushed back to February 22nd of next year, uh, and Deadpool got put to uh, May 18th of this year, which means it's coming out sooner. Very exciting. Very exciting stuff. What time is it? What time is it? Seriously. Okay, I've got time to finish this. Uh, Detective Pikachu uh, has got Amiibo coming out in the West in March uh, 23rd. Well, actually, the game comes out, I think, then. There's an Amiibo that's going to be larger than the standard Amiibo coming with it uh, in all the world, I think. And then uh, you can unlock short, possibly helpful videos using the Amiibo. Uh, John Wick. Remember the movie John Wick? John Wick Chapter 2? I need to see Chapter 2. That's a. have heard good things about it. I like the first one. But anyways, it's getting a show that's going to be a prequel, and it's going to be on the show, or they're on the channel Stars, and Keanu Reeves is going to be a producer, and possibly, I think, a guest star, I'm pretty sure. And it's got a new title, it's called the Cont... Contento? I don't know how to... Contentel. Contentel, I don't know how to pronounce it. Whatever, it's got a new title. Um, speaking of shows that coming onto TV. The Walking Dead got renewed for season 9. And it's got a new uh, showrunner called, uh, her name is uh, Angela King. And in some uh, more Nintendo news, because they just cannot stay out of this episode of Nerdy News, um, Nintendo Labo. <laughs> the Nintendo Labo. You got a build and play. You can uh, toy con RC car. You can toy con uh, fishing rod. Toy con house thing and it comes out the day after my birthday April 20th so if you want to you know on my videos on, on my birthday you know happy birthday I'm, or on Twitter or my Facebook fan page you're not gonna remember that my birthday is the 19th and then this comes out on the 20th uh, also it's gonna cost $69.99 for some cardboard that you put on your uh, you put your things into you set up a cardboard 
uh, Hogwarts, the Hogwarts app, like uh, going to Hogwarts school, we got some uh, info for that. The Hogwarts, uh, sorry, Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Um, that's what it's called. We got some more info on it. It's going to be set before the books. So you go to Hogwarts before the books even started, but you still get to have like Professor McGonagall and Snape and all that, so that's cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, then we got some Arrowverse news. Oh, it's been so long since I said Arrowverse news, isn't it? Uh, Wally West is coming to Legends of Tomorrow, and I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah. I guess he's going to be more. Per he's going to be a permanent member of the team now. But we just, well, I can't say anything because, uh, never mind. Spoilers, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, Incredibles 2 got a cast article, link in the description. Most of the same people are coming back from the uh, previous one uh, that played uh, characters like, who played uh, Mr. Incredible and Last Girl and all that, so. And then some new characters, so some new voices. Um, oh, and Bob Odenkirk is going to be in it, and his character looks exactly like him. Just animated, and it looks so cool. Bob Odenkirk, of course. Bob Odenkirk? Bob Odenkirk, who, of course, played Saul in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Um, Mighty Ducks is getting a TV series. Uh, that was announced. That's it. Uh, Duke Nukem is, I think, definitely confirmed to get a movie. And the person, I think they're either looking at him or they've confirmed that it's going to be John Cena. Da, 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 da. I don't know how yeah. real that is. And then um, we got Fox is making a reboot of Clue. I don't know if it's a movie or a TV show, but it's going to star Ryan Reynolds because everyone loves Ryan Reynolds. Now he's going to be Detective Pikachu, Deadpool, and a guy in Clue. Uh, we got some Oscar nominations, and I'm too lazy to write them all down, so I just uh, picked out one story. The fact that Logan is the first superhero movie to get nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay, which is really cool. Uh, there's a new RoboCop movie coming out, but it's going to ignore the reboots and just do the original. It's, it's going to be like a third movie in the original series. Um, and in our last and... I don't know how to feel about this movie, news, or not movie, near news. Uh, Muppet Babies got a re, uh, revival. It's getting a revival by Disney. And uh, there's going to be a new Muppet called Summer. It's going to be a penguin from Antarctica. And uh, it's going to be on Disney Junior coming out this March. And it's going to be, like th I think, animated and not puppets. So let me ball up the news. Alright, that's it. Sorry I've been gone for so long. I had to get a new background picture. This is temporary. Uh, someone's working on another one. But uh, I didn't want to be away for any longer. So I'm back. I'm back here. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you for watching me ramble for who knows how long. <sighs> I probably got to get ready to watch Arrow because it's going to be on soon. Love that show. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh... I'll be back again next week. It's going to be a regular series again. I'm going to try uploading uh, Let's Plays and streaming some more again because I miss it. Um, and hopefully I can get more games to stream, like Kingdom Hearts 3 when that comes out later this year for, like, my birthday or something. Um, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get more games. Uh, thank you for watching me be ridiculous uh, with my weird show that I love so much. And thank you for supporting me. Also, could we get me to, like, a thousand subscribers so my channel doesn't get kicked out of the YouTube program partnership thing? Just because I don't want to have to get an actual job. I want to make sure this is my job. I like this. I like YouTube. I need to more, do more sketches. i got a list of things I want to parody. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. Anyone, anyone uh, have anything to say? Nope, okay. Thank you for watching me be a fool for all of you. Bye-bye!